Can you really double your equity return by simple dividends? Dividends sound boring. What is dividend? That's the amount that the company is paying to you as owner of the company as your equity holder. So if you own equity of a company, most companies, not all, will regularly pay out part of their profits as a dividend, which sounds a bit old-fashioned because in the last years, most investors were going for growth stocks where you expect strong increases in the price and where dividends don't matter so much. But if you take a closer look at the last decades, and that's what we did here, the picture is completely different. What we did here in the chart is we looked at a broad global equity market and compared the performance you made by investing in all those hundreds of stocks in this broad equity market over the recent decades. And the bottom line, the dark line, shows how much did you gain, earn by the price increase of those stocks? How much did the prices of the underlying stocks go up? And the return was not bad. Out of 100 euros invested, this became already more than 700 euros over the decades, simply by the price increases of the equities in this index. But you can do a lot better. The upper line is the same equities, the same broad equity market index, the same time period, same performance, but adding the performance you made from the dividends you got every year and then reinvest it every year by buying more stocks even and getting even more dividend in the following year. The miracle of compounding. This way, the 100 euros by now have turned already into more than 1,600 euros. So more than double the total return than what you would have gotten simply from the price increases of the underlying stocks. Another nice feature of dividends. They are usually paid out more regularly than the price fluctuations of the underlying equity market. What do I mean? Look at this chart. You have uh, small dark bars that are pretty consistent. That's the part in every period that you earned from dividend payouts. Currently, European equity market pays out roughly 3.5% dividend yield. The upper part of the bar shows the price performance in the respective period. And this can, of course, vary a lot. You have years where the equity market goes up a lot. You have years where the price goes down. So the price swings are quite massive. But this dividend part is rather constant, even in bad years. In a recession year, some companies might stop the dividend, decrease it. But in total, the dividend payout of the whole equity market has been very consistent, only going down a little bit even in recession years. So it brings some stability to your portfolio performance. So in reality, how do you get to a good dividend-paying equity market portfolio? Well, the naive way would be simply picking those equities that pay the highest dividend yield, which can be risky because maybe the company is not able to continue this high level of paying dividends. So what our fund managers, for instance, do is to look at a lot of factors, not just what is currently the high dividend-paying companies, but are they in a position to continue paying high dividends? What is the underlying business model? What are the companies where you expect that the dividend payout will even strongly increase over the coming years? So you're looking for companies that have a strong growth trend in their dividends and the earnings power, the business model to sustain this over a longer period. So if you want to go it the easy way, of course, you can also simply buy an equity fund that concentrates on high dividend paying companies. So I hope you liked the input. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. See you next time and all the best.